Section 2.7, Problem 51. In this case, the first step will be isolating the absolute value signs. Therefore, we must add 3 to both sides. So we get that the absolute value signs are greater than or equal to 7. Now, we're going to get them out of the absolute value signs. One the way it is, and the other one with opposite sign. And we have to change the sign of the 7 as well. Again, this is because the value can be 7 units to the right or left from 0. So um, it can be 7 or negative 7. So we are going to isolate the x. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides leaving us with x is greater than or equal to 0 and on this side we have that x is less than or equal to negative 14. Again, if it's hard for you to write down the not notation set just by looking at them you can always draw your number line and that will be easier to read. So we have that x is greater than or equal to 0, meaning from 0 we're going to be pointing towards the positive numbers and x will be all values less than or equal to negative 14. So that's going to be pointing towards the negative numbers and we start reading from left to right. So here we have negative infinity to negative 14 bracket and we use the brackets because of the sign. We have a less than or equal to. That equal to means that we're going to be using the bracket which means that the negative 14 it's part of our solution it's included union bracket 0 comma positive infinity parentheses 